The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Well, great. We're going to change gears a little bit and just invite you to stick around for the next 30 minutes. And we're going to, we're going to talk a little bit about the trilogy of optimal health. And what I mean by that is, you know, our program has uh, got many facets and many layers uh, to it. And we talk a lot about healthy body and healthy mind. But uh, one of the, the components of our program is healthy finances. And we're going to hear from three amazing uh, first responders who is part of what they do every day is to protect and serve and to be there in our critical need. And I can't think of a, a better way to celebrate tonight than to honor the men and women who uh, are the first responders in case of emergency. And so we're going to hear from three amazing first responders who have not only uh, focused on creating a better life for themselves in terms of getting healthy, but now they're turning around and paying it forward and not only protecting and serving, but also uh, helping other people create an amazing life. So we're gonna hear some amazing stories. And I thought I would start tonight by sharing my first responder story. Um, I'm a first responder child, quite frankly. My, my uh, parents owned an ambulance company for over 30 years as a kid. Uh, in elementary school, I got picked up by an ambulance. Just about every day, my parents would swing through and pick me up. And we spent just about every Thanksgiving and Christmas down at the station. Uh, and it was uh, not uncommon in the middle of a, a Thanksgiving dinner for them to get a call and off my parents would go to uh, to help uh, save another life. And, and so uh, as I was around the industry of first responders, one of the things that I also found is that uh, many uh, people who are or out serving our communities also struggle uh, in terms of their own health. And so what a blessing it has been in my own life. This is a picture of me about 11 years ago as I decided to make health a priority. Uh, I was in the food business. I didn't follow in my parents' footsteps, but I was in the food business and being around food all day long, I love food. If anybody's ever said, well, I'm a foodie and I'm not sure I could follow the program, well, I, I hear you and I feel your struggle. But when I made the decision to get myself healthy, I've never looked back. And as I got healthy myself, it was about 19 weeks down the road uh, that I had lost over 85 pounds through many of the principles that you've heard Liz talk about in terms of the strategies to implement a better, healthier life throughout all areas of our life. So uh, 11 years ago, I made the decision to get healthy and turn right around and help someone else get healthy as well by becoming a health coach. And we'll share more of what that might look like for you. I want to appreciate you uh, for sticking around and hearing more about what it is we get to do each and every day as coaches. So let me share a little bit about our organization. Uh, for most of you that are on our call, you know that we're Optavia. Uh, it's an amazing organization made up of uh, some amazing men and women. Uh, right in the middle of the screen, you'll see a picture of Dr. Wayne Anderson, who's our co-founder. Uh, a, the 10th board, of, board certified critical care physician in the United States uh, was really focused on helping people change their habits and change their lifestyle. And about 19, uh, about 18 years ago, uh, got connected with our organization and really developed a system and a strategy for you not only to get healthy, but actually create well-being in your life by being part of the solution for other people. So, uh, you know, we're made up of healthcare professionals, about 25%, I think, of our, our health coach community is made up of healthcare professionals, physicians, doctors, nurses, uh, and the list goes on and on. But we're also made up of a lot of people, just like myself, who decided to get healthy and help my own family and friends get healthy. Uh, it's an amazing organization. We're based out of Baltimore, Maryland, with a, an amazing corporation to support all of our coaches around the country and soon around the world. Um, one of the things that we talk about when we talk about Optavia and, and really creating lifelong transformation, it's the process of incorporating little, small micro habits in every area of our life to be healthier in all facets. And so it's a really, you know, one of those things when we look around in our communities and we see our own family and friends struggling with health, we naturally wanna reach out and help them. 
you know, we have a health epidemic going on in this country and, and uh, over 70%, seven out of every 10 people in the United States are either overweight or obese. And then when you take a look at our aging population over the age of 20, over 37%, almost 40% of every person in the United States is considered to be clinically obese. And so we know that between the food industry and what we see going on in the grocery stores with all the pre prepared foods and our body's natural design to uh, store excess uh, intake as fat, uh, we know that we have an epidemic and there's a lot of opportunity to make some small incremental changes in our life. So I want to talk a little bit about the four components of optimal health. And uh, it starts with getting connected with the person that invited you to, uh, to listen to our presentations tonight. It starts with a health coach, our lifestyle system and the habits of health, get connected to our community and then reach a healthy weight using our amazing uh, fuelings and our uh, healthy eating plan. And so to help me share more about the details of our program and how coaching has impacted lives, I'd like to bring on our first uh, responder tonight, Mark Brown, a North, North Carolina State Trooper. Uh, just an amazing transformation. I love your pictures, Mark, because I see that at the very beginning, you began to make those changes and have created an amazing life. So if you wouldn't mind coming on and sharing a little bit about your story and a little bit about how coaching and the Habits of Health System have been a part of that transformation. Sure. Thanks, Russ. Can you hear me okay? We sure can. All right. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to take just a, a brief uh, few seconds of silence. We lost a state trooper last night who was shot and killed in the line of duty. Um, he wasn't just a trooper. He was a husband and a father, too. So we'll just take a couple of seconds just to think about him and his family. All right, thank you very much for that. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, my uh, I, state trooper, uh, kind of a structured lifestyle, Marine Corps before that. And then um, you know, I retired, kind of let myself go, was an EMT for a while. Um, I thought, I don't have to wear a uniform anymore. I don't have to worry about a bulletproof vest and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I got embarrassed. I saw a picture of my son, my oldest son, and I was wondering, who's the fat guy with him? The unhealthy guy standing there with him, and it was me. I had no idea I had let myself get that bad. And um, fortunately, I had a friend by the name of Jeremy Pratt, who was also my health coach, who said, uh, hey, Mark, you know, I'll be glad to help you. And I was stubborn at first, like, no, I don't need your help. I'm good. I'll do it on my own. Yeah, well, that didn't work out so good. So I reached back out to Jeremy and uh, I promised him, I said, I tell you what, I'll do exactly what you tell me for 90 days. I can stand on my head for 90 days if I have to. After 30 days, I realized this was a lifestyle I could live with. I started uh, doing everything my coach told me. I you know, did my five in one, did my hydration and absolutely fell in love with the way I was feeling. I love the transformation and, um, at the time, even though I was retired, I was still working as an EMT, working 70, 80 hours a week, just trying to make ends meet. And I'm giving Jeremy referrals. You know, I don't want any part of this business. I want to do that. Well, boy, was I wrong. Because I asked Jeremy, I said, hey, are, are you really making any money at this? And he's like, yeah. I said, so let me get this straight. You're paid by a company to stay healthy. He said, yep. And you're paid by a company to help other people get healthy. Like, yeah, I said, what's the catch? He said, there is no catch. We want everybody in the world to be healthy and have a healthy lifestyle. That's all it is. I said, all right, I'm done. Sign me up. So I became a coach. I lost uh, 50 pounds uh, four years ago. Love this. And the neat thing about coaching is it's rewarding. I didn't just lose 50 pounds, but I gained a life back. I gained uh, a type of life that I have always wanted that I kind of had in the past but never really understood where it went. And so having that coach who was caring and knowledgeable, Jeremy, it, you know, he's that coach that was on the sidelines that when I did good, you know, he pat me on the back, good job. And if I got out of line, then he's the first one to kick me in the tail and get me going again. And that's what a coach does. He praises you when you do well. He corrects you when you, you need to be corrected. But having the one-on-one -on -one support of, of my coach, 
was the reason for my success. You got to read the habits of health. You got to understand them. But having that coach in your corner, uh, you're the one in the ring. You're the one fighting. But having that guy calling the shots and help you is priceless, absolutely priceless. Um, and it shows here on the screen, you know, my coach was all these things. He was caring. He was knowledgeable. I mean, he knew the habits of health, the book inside and out. Um, you know, Dr. A's book is just, uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, the steps are there. And one of the funny things about coaching now, whenever I get a, 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 a client that's asking me a bunch of questions, I'll always ask them, well, just by, just out of curiosity, what chapter are you on in the book? And go, uh, uh, well, okay, you got me. I had not been reading the book. I said, okay, read the book. That's how it works. You got to go to school. You got to learn. So you got to read the book. So uh, my transformation from retirement into EMT, replacing an income, and now being a health coach, this company pays me to stay in shape and pays me to help other people get healthy. I replaced, and now I'm exceeding that EMT income as a coach. I have better hours. I'm not working 7P to 7A anymore. You know, I work uh, in daylight hours. If we go to the beach, I can work from there. If we go to the mountains, I can work from there. I love being a health coach. It's rewarding, and the flexibility is absolutely amazing. Well, thanks, Mark. Uh, what, what an amazing story. It's, it's fun to see uh, you making that transition in your life where you said, what do I want my life to look like? and organizing your life around the things that matter most to you uh, and, and seeing that transformation, you incorporating those little healthy habits and how that's affected your life. And thank you for your service and for, and thank you for reaching out and helping other people get healthy and be an amazing coach to them, just like Jeremy's been for you. So again, thanks Mark for sharing your story. My pleasure. Okay. Okay, we want to go to another first responder, uh, Lisa Trogdon, uh, who is an emergency department uh, nurse. Now, uh, uh, Lisa, if you wouldn't mind coming on and sharing a little bit about your transformation story and uh, a little bit more about the details of how uh, you as a coach and as a nurse are reaching out and helping other people. I thank you for having me here. Can you hear me? We sure can. Greg. Okay, so it's an honor to talk to everyone and share with you. Uh, I've been an ER nurse for uh, over 30 years. I'm also a heart attack and stroke survivor, and so I have a very huge interest in health and uh, wasn't always doing what I knew to do. Uh, I started writing a book a few years ago about heart health, and during my research for my book, I actually discovered uh, coming across the term health coach, health coach. And I actually ran across my own health coach, Donnie Alvarenga, through a podcast where she was talking about nurses becoming health coaches. And I was very interested in that uh, and got together with Donnie and talked to her and uh, still was more looking for uh, some way for me to become a health coach. And she suggested that I try the program for a little while and see how it went. That was back, uh, I think, in early May. and. Uh, she began to coach me and I behind the scenes was coaching my husband to kind of try out the new things that I was learning. And here we are the mid October and I've lost 50 pounds and my husband's lost 70 pounds. So as a nurse, that was astounding to me. You know, it was just like, uh, I know that hospitals are absolutely necessary as a heart attack survivor and a stroke survivor. But I think sometimes with the chronic care of people with chronic illness, sometimes we, uh, as a profession, can let people down. And so I began to look at this as an opportunity to impact patients and clients in a long-term way to help people get well, not just help them get better and get out of the hospital and, you know, turn around and be back soon, but actually work with people to try to help them achieve a level of wellness that they may not have ever had in many, many years. So I did get my health coach certification and I started a little business and we have several clients now and uh, really just seeing success after success. And I know everyone focuses on the weight and I just want to say that it's not about weight all the way, although that's what we can see. Uh, it's also about seeing the guy that's playing basketball with his son now without losing his breath or the young lady who's getting to shop for clothes who's always hated to shop. 
So there's just so much joy and amazement in working with people. And the Optavia community, which this slide is showing right now, is amazing. Uh, you do what the people around you do. And if you're around people who have no interest in health, who do not put health as a priority, you're most likely to develop those type of habits. And I don't know about you, you probably can't tell I'm from the South, but ha uh -huh. <laughs> On my feed this time of year especially, lots of pies and casseroles and cakes and that kind of thing. And there is nothing better than seeing on my Facebook feed like-minded people who care about health to inspire and motivate me throughout my day. And the connections that I've made, the friendships that I've developed. There's the Habits of Health video conference, which we just attended prior to this, and then the nutritional support team that's there anytime to talk to you about any special needs you have related to special medical uh, dietary needs, those kind of things. So the community in and of itself, uh, what a support and, and what a great motivator they are as well. The feelings, really, the one, there's probably three words I would use to describe the feelings, and that would be that they are a simple, structured, plan that is balanced and you know the simplicity is important to me as a nurse I go to work for 12 hours and I have an hour drive each way so I'm gone about 14 hours I just drop my feelings in a bag and take them off I don't have to plan and prep and all those kind of things uh, they're balanced so sugar and insulin levels stay very balanced and you don't have those highs and lows and that helps decrease a lot of the hunger that you associate with dieting at times uh, drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated. At the end of the day, with the feelings, you actually have had 100% of every nutrient and uh, that you need. So, you know, how could you possibly do that on your own? You know, that is a, a super simplistic way to provide you with a balanced diet and a nutrition diet as well. And then the beauty of it is that it's designed to just carry you right on. Once you finish your weight loss journey, then you begin to adapt and change the program and decrease the feelings and add foods of your own and actually uh, have developed the foundation through the study of the habits of health to start to have goals such as longevity and ability throughout your uh, entire life. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for explaining that. You did so wonderfully because you know, as, as you began to get yourself healthy, congratulations to you and your husband having lost over 120 pounds combined. Thank you. It's the community, it's the, the coach, it's our fuelings, it's Dr. A's Habits of Health. It is all of these component, components combined. And one of the things that I think you said that was pretty powerful, and that is where you also, as a client of the program, have turned around and reached out and began to help a few people get healthy. And I really think that's the fifth key component of our program is uh, turning around, reaching out, and helping other people. Uh, what we offer at Optavia is an opportunity to create long-term optimal health, one healthy habit at a time. And the trilogy really balances healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy finances. It's where all three of those uh, come into uh, to real clear focus. And a good way to measure that for you is to kind of kind of think about how healthy you are in each of those three components: healthy body, healthy mind, and healthy finances. Maybe on a on a scale of one to ten, how healthy physically are you? Are you uh, following a healthy eating plan? Do you get enough sleep? Are you at a healthy weight? Uh, do you take time to relax? And are, are, is your environment safe? And are you a balancing physical activity in your healthy body? From a healthy mind perspective, do you have spiritual time? Time to uh, be involved in the community? Do you have time to be involved in hobbies and have a little bit of fun? Uh, are you fulfilled? Are you doing things that really build strong, meaningful relationships? And as it relates to healthy finances, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you have the abundance to be able to give freely to charity and the things that are important to you? Do you have time and the finances to be able to travel? Are you free to be able to do the things that you want to do? And so as you're evaluating healthy body, mind, and finances, really take a look at your own personal life to see if what parts of our program might be a good fit for you. You know, we know that people are struggling in their health, their physical body, but did you know that half of the people in the United States, including our family and friends, 
do not have a rainy day fund for emergencies. Over 50% of everyone in the United States are not satisfied with their job uh, and aren't fulfilled in what it is they do each and every day. So uh, it, it really, when we take a look at healthy body and mind and finances, we realize that everybody could use an opportunity to, uh, to really make a difference and at the same time provide some financial freedom for you. So most of your friends aren't telling you behind the scenes what's going on in their life, but I can bet that there might be somebody that you know that could really benefit from the, the components of our program. When we take a look at the opportunity and we take a look at the marketplace in the wellness industry alone, our wellness industry uh, does $3.72 trillion and globally over 10% 10, uh, 10 uh, of the money is spent in the wellness area. We certainly know that it's a great opportunity with everybody looking for the latest and greatest diet. We're, we're finding people that are looking for more freedom in their life. They're looking for a system that will support them in all areas of their life, get them to a healthy weight, and then help them develop a healthy lifestyle. And that's really the market that we're in. But we're beyond wellness. We're beyond weight loss. We're about well-being, where you can become the best version of yourself. And so I'd like to, to bring on Kevin Clark, a battalion chief. Um, you know, when we start talking about the best version of yourself, I'm looking at these pictures, Kevin, and, and I can see a complete transformation physically, but I can bet there's a transformation in other areas of your life as well. So come on and share your story with us tonight. Hey, thanks, Russ. Thanks for having me. And, and thanks for Mark and, and Lisa telling their stories, too. It's been pretty inspiring even listening to just their stories. But my story goes back a couple of years when I was turning 50. And like many people that are probably listening, as you hit that golden age, uh, the maintaining your health and weight becomes more and more difficult. I'd always been a fairly fit guy, had led fitness instruction classes, had done a lot of other things. Uh, and was now struggling, finding myself struggling to keep the weight off or to get the weight off. And so um, I, I was working on it, trying to increase the cardio, doing all kinds of things to try to make this thing happen. And nothing was really working like, I, like it had in the past. And then I saw my wife uh, jump on the plan with her coach, Jennifer Brown. And every morning was another shriek from the bathroom of her saying, I'm down again. I'm down again. I'm thinking, this is crazy. What in the world is she doing? And I uh, wanted some of that, so I jumped on the program. And again, thinking it was just a weight loss program, which it was phenomenal. Over the course of about 60 days, I was able to lose 30 pounds. And so for me, that was transformational. And then we started to share it with other people, because mostly because we were just so excited with what was going on in our own lives and how effective it was. And we've seen that it's been super repeatable. And um, my time being a coach, uh, you, you're able to, um, uh, sorry, to um, the, in becoming a coach, you're able to work on um, yourself and your clients. You're able to enjoy the, making a difference in their lives. Uh, some of my folks have lost 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds. Uh, it's been super successful and super repeatable uh, again and again and again, like nothing else that I've ever tried in the, in the industry. Uh, this has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been so fun and rewarding by helping other people. I've gotten to be experienced now as a battalion chief. I don't get to interact with the public like I used to. I interact with my folks around me, but now I get to, to affect people's lives on a one-on-one -on -one basis as a health coach, and it's been awesome. And the compensation is bar none. You can, uh, you can have fun, you can get healthy, you can help other people, and you get rewarded for it. And so we're rewarded well by helping other people do well. And so that has been really, really awesome. And they're able to travel. I had one uh, person that has told me stories of, you know, I could bend down now and pick the stuff off the floor of the car. Couldn't do that before. Um, those kinds of things are, are pretty awe-inspiring. Uh, when you when you get to to kind of witness it, um, and you're able to leave that legacy, so that's something that I'm looking to do as I leave the fire service in the next couple of years. This is a way that I can really help uh, the the public, and again, as a as a firefighter, first responder, and now as a, a healthcare wellness professional, I can really impact people around me, and I've been able to impact over 40 first responders 
And my wife and I together have affected over 200 people, uh, thousands, touched thousands of lives. So what does the model look like as a coach? At first, you're just going to become a, a, a Octavia coach and you're going to have a, a few clients if you decide to do that. And you're going to help those people around you. You're going to build the relationships. You're going to start with the friends and family that you feel most connected with that can really use your help. And in fact, they're going to ask you. You're not going to have to go pound on their doors and ask them because they're going to see the transformational difference in your life. And they're going to ask you, what are you doing? And then you're just going to share. We're going to teach you an easy way of sharing. Your business coach, who is a coach of coaches, is going to help you with that. They're going to walk right alongside of you. They're going to talk to those clients with you and for you. And they're going to be there to answer every question you have along the way. And then as you become a better, more experienced coach, you will become a business coach, meaning some of your clients will want to be coaches as well. And you, again, will help them with their clients. Like was mentored to you, you will mentor to the people uh, around you now that are wanting to get involved in this. And soon you'll be a leader, meaning your coaches will have coaches and be leaders of their own and their coaches will have coaches. So uh, again, as you grow and expand, uh, you learn this personal development. The business is developed for you, with you, and by you. We are paid well by helping others do well. And by helping those people around you, it really pays out in full force. So um, there's, you know, it's like I've talked about before, there's, a, it's all about relationships. So all we're doing is encouraging you to reach out and tell people how excited you were. I'm sure Mark and Lisa and myself, this is all about sharing the excitement. I couldn't believe that this was something that would work so well and so repeatable. And at first it was, you had a little trepidation, but when you see it happening again and again and again, Every, every person that does it, if they do the model well, they're going to be successful. Uh, you're self-employed, so you make your own hours. You make your own time. Do you want to be full-time or part-time? What do you want to do? It costs very, very little to start up, and you aren't going to warehouse things like a lot of other businesses. You don't have to buy any product and have it in your house. You just help facilitate them to get the product to them, and then you coach them along the way. You can work from anywhere. And in fact, we've worked at it from France. We've worked at it from the beach. We've done this from everywhere we've done it. And the, the, there is no quotas or anything like that. It's just a matter of you helping people around you, and then you get paid for helping them. Like uh, Mark said, get paid for being in shape and help other people get in shape. Uh, and there's lots of training and support. Your coaches are going to come alongside of you and help you all along the way. So the training program that we talk about, we, I've talked about it a little bit, but basically it revolves around your coach is going to provide you with just-in-time coaching information. So as it comes up, they're going to give you a little more of a peek of all the little things that you can do. There's a full training module in the back office where you can go in there and watch videos and go through seminars and all kinds of things that you can do. As you become more experienced and you grow as a person and as a coach, you're gonna have more opportunities to do more things and your coaches will train you on those things. You're gonna work with that business model. There's gonna be things that are gonna come up that you won't have the answers to, but your coach will have the answers or their coach will have the answers. That's the beauty of this whole model. It's the team coaching uh, approach. You're gonna have uh, people under you that are gonna be your new apprentices and then you're gonna help them. And if it gets beyond your scope, you're going to reach back to your coach who's been doing it longer and has had more success and more experience than you. And they're going to be able to answer those questions. So you can have full confidence that you don't have to be a scholar. You don't have to have it all down. You just need to start. And when you start, you're going to be healthy. You're going to keep people around you being healthy and you are going to have phenomenal success. And you're going to be also going to be able to go to a lot of different training opportunities. Uh, we would encourage everybody to go to all the training opportunities because they're so varied and there's so many fantastic people. You get to see the people behind the scenes that really have a heart for helping people. And that's what we're all about is helping the world become healthy. And if we can help them become healthy, then it pays its out in the reward and just that. I would do this for nothing. That's what we did as, as nurses, as EMTs, as police officers or state troopers. We want to help people. That's what this is all about, is helping people become healthy. 
Kevin, thank you so much for sharing that information. It, it, it's, it's some really good, clear, practical information that can help someone decide whether or not joining our community is a good fit for them. And I think, you know, there's no one more busy than a first responder. I remember, you know, my folks working 48 on, 48 off. Um, as a busy uh, corporate professional, I, I was working about 11, 12 hours a day in my corporate job and coming home and working about a half an hour a day, five days a week and a little bit on the weekends. And over time, it developed an amazing life. I've, I've been coaching now 11 years. There's not one single day in my health coaching career that I've ever said, I hate going to work. I would do this for free, Kevin. I think that was perfect what you said, is we do this because we have a heart for helping other people. And if something that we've said tonight resonated with you, maybe it's, you know, you're looking to get yourself healthy. Uh, maybe it's you're, you're looking to take, take an edge off the family budget. Uh, maybe three, four, five hundred dollars would, would just be enough to take an edge off. Or maybe you're looking at making a, a huge impact by helping thousands of people get healthy. You know, over the last 11 years, as I've been coaching, I've been able to impact over 16,000 lives because I simply made the decision to get myself healthy and turn around and pay it forward. And so coaching looks different for, for everyone. Maybe it's just helping a few family and friends. You have a, a heart for helping them. You see a need and a desire and you want to help fill that need. Uh, but maybe you're looking for a, a walkaway income or, or to be better positioned for retirement. Whatever it is for you that uh, Optavia might be a good fit for, I would invite you to get with the coach that invited you to participate this evening and, and really sit down and say, here's what my vision is. Here's what my goals are. This is what I want my life to look like. And your coach will help you map out a plan that will help you do that. I'm sharing our Optavia income disclosure statement. Uh, it is available on our website. It gives you a breakdown on uh, average incomes of coaches uh, in our system. Uh, if you'd like to get a copy of that, you can also go to our website and download it. But I can just share with you from my own personal experience is that when you help more and more people get healthy, and some of those healthy people decide to turn around and join you in your mission by joining you as coaches, and now you're building an organization, uh, all focused on sharing your heart for helping other people, the, the possibilities are endless. There's no cap to your income with Optavia. So I would encourage you to, to really reach out and join our Optavia community. And I really look at it as more of the Optavia family because uh, it, it's an amazing opportunity for you to pour out your heart and help other people. But in doing so, you really become part of their family as you be able to impact their life for the rest of their life. It's been my honor and privilege to bring to you our first responders, to have them share their own personal story, but how they're turning around using their skills of sharing their heart and wanting to make a difference in the community. Now as Optavia coaches, they're impacting thousands of lives well beyond responding to an emergency. So Optavia provides folks really lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. Get with the person that invited you. Explore what this might look like for you. I look forward to having you part of the family and go out and have a great rest of the day. Thanks, everyone. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, Please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.